want something, go get it. Period. First off this week, I went in Target. I didn't do the drive up and I haven't had to do a don't get triggered warning in a long ass time. If you are Cora or the six people that thumbed up her comment a couple weeks ago about me knowing better as a mom than to shop at Target, just go ahead and unsubscribe and leave right now. We're not about that life. I thought that was the stupidest thing I've ever heard and oh my gosh, I'm not even gonna go down that rabbit hole, but you can just leave, okay, bye. We've got the Tyson Black and Chicken Strips. They were on sale for $7.99. Anytime they're on sale, I pick up a bag. I have a lot of recipes that I use for this and I just like eating this with cottage cheese. Speaking of, I can only find the cottage cheese at Target. Um, my Walmart doesn't have cottage cheese. There's like a shortage going on. This is the 1% fat one, which is 80 calories and 12 grams of protein. I like this one a lot. It's not like runny. I feel like the Daisy 2% is not as thick, it's super watery and runny, at least last when I got. This one's thick and I like it like that. I know some people are the opposite. I did go in for the drinks. This is the only place I can find the Pepsi Zero Sugar Wild Cherry, y'all have been asking. This is where I get it, I can't find it anywhere else. And they were on a, not much of a sale. It was three for 18, so it shaved off like $1.26. They only had two of the Pepsi Zero Wild Cherry in stock and I went ahead and threw in the Diet Pepsi Wild Cherry. Probably not gonna be a fan, but I wanted to get the deal and you couldn't get the deal unless you bought it in increments of three. And they were sold out of like all the other flavors as you can imagine, because everybody's trying to save that coin. So that's what we got. Drink wise, this is my number one choice of soda right now, even over the Dr. Pepper strawberry and cream one. I love that one so much. And the hubby has been loving it too. So that's why we've been flying through it. I did pick up some Alani new energy drinks. I've been loving the ghost energy, not the sour ones. The warhead ones are a no for me, but the Alani news are good. They don't have as much caffeine, but that's okay. I like this new juicy peach one and they don't sell the big pack at Sam's. I was going to get it. They just can, you know, it was a limited thing, so they don't have it anymore. Should have snagged it when I could, but I got two of them. It's the only place that is selling the peach by me anyway. These were on sale for two for five, so that's why I got increments of two. And then I haven't tried most of their flavors, honestly. I've never tried the blue slush, and it looked fire. And then I think this one is new, the kiwi guava, so I wanted to give that one a go for a little bit of pick-me-ups on my early morning gym days. I'm running low on my favorite Kodiak flapjack and waffle mix. This is the raspberry lemon one. I eat this on my rest days with my protein waffle recipe. I have a video here, go check it out. You can just type in protein waffles, Nicole Burgess, and it will pop up for you. It is super easy. The macros are insane. And I like to drizzle that new raspberry mousse cashew butter by American Dream on top of this. That combo is the best chef's kiss. You're going to love it, but I can only get the like specialty flavors at Target. They don't sell them at my Walmart anyway. And the blueberry is good too, but I think that raspberry lemon is my number one. I got some new Chobani Zero things. I've never seen these before. They make these with, y'all know the light and fit I've been getting for Trey and Too Good makes a version of this as well. But the macros on this, I just can't get over it. So they have the Chobani Zero Sugar little milkshakes and they have them in milk and cookies, which would be like a good addition to a dessert. All of these are 50 calories and 10 grams of protein. Like how insane is that? So this is great if you're in a calorie deficit or great if you're in maintenance and you just need to squeeze in an extra 10 grams of protein for like nothing. That is insane. So I'm going to drink this one for like a dessert with an addition to something. They also had the mixed berry and the strawberry cheesecake were the only flavors that I saw today at my store, but be on the lookout for these. They were $1.99 a piece. So a little pricey for what they are, but not bad. Like the too good and the light and fit ones are definitely more expensive. And I feel like these macros are way, way better. Chobani Zero Sugar is stepping up their game with the different flavors. I've seen some crazy flavors at my local grocery store, but I just wanted to try the toasted coconut vanilla. I've been making little yogurt bowl concoctions and I just like a vanilla base but a little toasted coconut action might be good these are 60 calories and as far as protein they are 11 grams of protein so I love the zero sugar they sell a big pack at Sam's but I'm not a huge fan of like the strawberry and the mixed berries that's why you don't see me getting that one and getting the individual ones in instead so that is everything we got at Target for $50 I did have a 5% off my total order for my birthday perk that they had on there. So I got like $2 off. So $50 total at Target. 
Don't get Sam's triggered. Club and Aldi haul in store. I'm gonna start with Sam's because I have frozen stuff. As you guys know, I'm pretty far and it is hella hot and the stuff is already thawed out by the time I get home. So I'm gonna start with the frozen. I've got the Riceland crawfish tails. These are Louisiana crawfish. I love crawfish down here, guys. I am a southerner. True and true when it comes to the deep south in Louisiana. 70 calories and 14 whopping grams of protein. Great protein source. I'm going to be making a crawfish crunch wrap next week for lunch. I wanted to try out the true fruit stuff. I have not even tried any of it. I know I'm late to the game, but I'm looking for like a, a better option but satisfying for dessert, if that makes sense. I've been loving fruit, but I've been wanting a little chocolate in the mix. So they had the frozen, or no, this is the freeze-dried ones. These are the Nature's Strawberries, hyper-dried, fresh and dark chocolate. This was a pretty good price compared to the little bags at Walmart. 150 calories for 30 grams or a fourth of a cup. I'm feeling them, and they're huge. So I don't know if there's maybe two per serving, but here for it because it's a big portion. Y'all know I'm about the bigness. And then we got some of the frozen nature strawberries. And these are just 90 calories for about three pieces. So I'm going to put this in the freezer and the crawfish shells. right Y'all saw me get my brother-in-law these peanut butter pretzels last week. And I was like, damn, those macros were good. I did not forget. 140 calories for 10 pretzels. And I'm looking to, like, for my desserts, between 140 to, like, 200 calories is what I'm a lot. And especially since I'm reversing, I'm going to have more room. So I thought that would be good. However, I dropped them in the parking lot and uh, I crushed a bunch of them. But it's all good. I did get some orange juice. I haven't held orange juice from Samson forever, but I forgot to get some from Aldi, actually. And we do like this homemaker, but we were having issues with not just this one, but the Aldi one also spoiling on us like super quick, like within a week after opening. That's nuts. So I got it. We shall see. I did get some hand soap for the boys' bathroom. We go through like liquid hand soap. That's what I get for them and their bathroom like crazy. I feel like we wash our hands extra in there. However, I, I would be the one that picked up the busted ass freaking container. It's got a big old hole in it. How did I not know throughout the store that I was leaking the entire time? I went to go get out of my car and there was a puddle of soap. I'm like, really? So I'm going to uh, use that one obviously first, but it's a good deal, but don't get them busted. Did get some paper towels. I, we hauled toilet paper last week, but we're down to our last one or two rolls. So I had to replenish on that. Did not need any Fairlife, but since I was in store, cause you can't get it in the pickup, went ahead and got one just as a reserve backup. Trey's been drinking these for breakfast every morning. I've been doing my PE science with the almond milk. So those are for him primarily. Did get some more strawberries, a two pound container. They were on a killer deal, still on steroids, but they were delicious last week. So here for it. He is out of, he, meaning Trey, is out of palmetto cheese, pimento cheese. This is the one that he likes. Y'all ask what he uses this for. He puts it on tortillas with turkey pepperoni. He puts it on broccoli and eats it straight up like that. Um, we do like Lunchables with this. So he eats it in a variety of ways, but this is the only one he will eat. He is still picky about that, not anything else. Speaking of him, I got him this huge two pound container of the great tomatoes. It was such a better deal over at Sam's than at Aldi. And I think it was on an instant savings is why. This was less than $5. I've been paying $1.99 a package for a 10 ounce win. So that was definitely a better deal. And then I did get some blueberries. They're cheapest at Sam's Club. It's not letting me do the pickup though. So that's why I've been going in store for all the things because the pickup's been acting whack. And y'all know I had all that drama a couple weeks ago. We ain't about it. I did get them the brioche hamburger buns. Again, they had them in stock. I was going to get the bunny ones because I love those and you get more for about the same price, but we have some of the bunny ones left over. So I didn't need like 12 more buns, if that makes sense. So that's why I got those to have on hand. And then back here, I got some laundry detergent. I've been getting the gain as our favorite, but I wanted to try this all fresh and clean advanced plus odor lifter. It was, uh, I think it was like $18 and some change, but you got a ton more ounces and the gain was like 19 something. So it was a better bang for your buck. We're gonna see if we like it and test it out. So this was however much I told you guys, $144 with tax. Dang, my Sam strip. Aldi was $62.28 before tax. Our tax is high down here, so that's why I never tell y'all the total before or after tax usually because it is crazy compared to most of you guys. Y'all got it made. We did get a bunch of produce per usual. We got three blackberries. They were on sale this week. Y'all know that is Trey's favorite. Did get two raspberries. We're cheaper to get them like this than at Sam's Club. Also cheaper to get the avocados were on sale versus Walmart. And I'm putting that alongside the 
crawfish crunch wrap next week. Mm, it's gonna be good. I haven't had avocado in a while. Love it as one of my favorite fat sources. Did get myself some plain bagels. I love putting some of the whipped cream cheese or some of that blueberry lemon zest one on here and it's like a good snack. I have it for a rest day breakfast option. They still don't have the cinnamon raisin ones I've been wanting to get for Trey, so I'll have to pick that up at Wally World. They have the Simply Potatoes. This isn't something they always carry at Aldi, but I saw them last week, and I meant to put them on plan this week for some like rest day lunches or whatever. I like having breakfast for lunch. I'm just a big, huge breakfast eater. I love all things breakfast. But these Simply Potatoes, guys, are just potatoes, pretty clean, 70 calories for 85 grams and two grams of protein here for it. So I'm gonna put that alongside those steak strips y'all saw me haul from Sam's last week, some eggs, maybe some avocado and some of these hash browns for like a really good bowl. Did get some almond milk for my protein coffee and for protein shakes, two liquid egg whites. They had three, only three. I have a story to tell you guys when I do my Walmart pickup next, so this will make sense, but they only had three on the shelf, and did I need to? No, but I'm afraid they're not going to have them, and they're so pricey at Walmart. Y'all know I fly through it anyway, so it won't go to waste. The Moo Tubes for the kids, I didn't haul any last week. They did have the cotton candy and melon berry today, so they'll be happy to see that. Some turkey pepperoni. I have like three packages on hand, but I have a ton of this on plan next week for myself for a snack with cottage cheese and some pretzel crisps. That's been like a really favorite snack of mine that I haven't been able to enjoy yet. So I got that on plan. Y'all saw me haul these packets like twice now, but they were on clearance for 30 cents a packet. I did use this lemon pepper one on some drumsticks and it was pretty good. So I went ahead and got that one. The macros are good. 10 calories, make sure a lot for the whole packet though. And then two of the buffalo, 25 calories for two teaspoons, a lot for the packet when you're making recipes. I did get a two pound box of the elbow macaroni. It was the same price as the two pounder at Walmart. We are gonna be making a macaroni and cheese by Elise Ellis. I've made it before and it's super good. Like even if you're not dieting or whatever, it's you wouldn't even know the difference. It's that freaking good, love it so much. I did get the boys another container of the fruit punch. These are the pitcher packs. We have some, but just in case, hashtag summer. I got a pound of 96% lean ground beef. I'm gonna be making a jacked up Sammy for you guys. That will be recorded and brought to you. It's got gonna have a little kick. I like spicy stuff, but instead of using like breakfast sausage, we're gonna use ground beef, kind of like a little mini slider in the morning. Mm, here for it, y'all wait for that. It's gonna be good, I can't wait. Got a big container or package of paper plates. We have some, but I've been using this. It's been my lifesaver for summer. I did get a package of the Sharp Cheddar Deli Sliced Cheese. It's 80 calories a slice. I think that's for a recipe, but Waylon's been loving that with ham on those buns for a lunch option. And then they had their Father's Day stuff out. I did get two cards. These were like less than $2. I got this one for the hubs. It says, to the man, the myth, the legend, happy Father's Day. Again, these were like $1.97 or whatever I'm popping up. Happy Father's Day. You are classic with the car. I got this one for my dad. We love you. So I thought those were cool. They're like really nice cards for $2. Y'all know they're million dollar anywhere else. So that's what we got at Aldi for like 60 something dollars. Pretty damn good. And then Sam's Club, Lord of Mercy. Everything's expensive at Sam's and Walmart, but we got some good finds today at Sam's, so I'm not mad about it. Pretty sure I skipped over the grapes when I was doing the grocery haul and I was just putting it in my container and it made me think of it that I didn't talk about them. This entire thing of grapes, guys, because they were on sale, $3.81. I don't know about you, but at my Walmart right now, they're charging like $6 a pound. So like this many, many grapes would have been like $10, $12 probably which is crazy, but that was an insane deal. And y'all know Trey and I's favorite is the green. So I'm excited to have those this week. Story time. So our big Walmart, our big super center is not the one that I do my grocery pickup from. Y'all know it's the market side one. We have a big Walmart, we have a market side, and then a little bit farther, we have another market side, but it's a little bit out of the way. At the super center, a couple of days ago, there was an incident where a bunch of teenagers set off a flare or flares 
in the automotive department, which set off the sprinkler system in the entire store, which wet everything in the entire super center. So they have closed the super center to take all the stuff that was ruined out. Isn't that crazy? And restock everything and fix the store. And they're saying that the super center will be closed at least a month until they get it up and fixed. Can you put like kids these days? I told my husband, I was like, I hope they were reprimanded and reprimanded hard for the nonsense because think about all the employees. But anyway, what I'm getting at is our little Walmart now is overrun, okay? It's overrun with people using it because now we don't have the super center. So I went to go do my pickup last night. I always do my pickup the night before as far as making my order and it's fine. I can do it the very next day. There is no pickup for like three or four days. It says full for the next three or four days. So Trey and I, my youngest is over at my mother-in-law's. We went in store. So I'm gonna show you what we got from the little Walmart because that's the only one we have now available to us in store because the pickup even if it was available i think it would be crazy so i think my chances of going in were better we went early today it was fine definitely more crowded than it usually is and my aldi was as well because people are utilizing what's available now since the big walmart is closed it's crazy how much that big walmart gets utilized it's insane so let me flip you around and show you what we got inside walmart crazy times. We spent $86 and some change. However, we got almost $6 back from Ibotta. I will tell you the rebates we got for the specific things. And of course, going in store, you pick up a couple of things that you necessarily wouldn't on the pickup. I did get some more of the Joseph's Lavash flatbreads. I have uh, some left over, but I need one more. So I'll, the rest of them I'll put in the freezer. These freeze really well. I'm making a crawfish crunch wrap I mentioned to you guys, I think. And these are 100 calories of flatbread. I love using these. These taste the best in my opinion. I did get Trey some pre-sliced cinnamon raisin bagels. Again, at Aldi, they've been sold out. I don't know why, but I got those for him. And then I'm making a new breakfast Sammy for you guys next week. I'm excited about this one. It's going to be called a jacked up Sammy. And we're using the original English muffins, which are 120 calories and way cheaper than your Thomas brand. However, when I was in there, since I can't see things on the pickup, did y'all know that the Oro Wheat makes a like bagel or sandwich thin that is 100 calories and 12 grams of protein? However, they're like $6 a pack, which is crazy. And then now Thomas makes a um, bagel thin that is keto friendly and they're 80 calories a bagel thin. Again, they were expensive. So even though I could have went that route and have been less calorie, I'm getting the cheaper option for you. It's not that big of a difference calorically, if that makes sense, but it is for your pocketbook. I did get some organic bananas, you guys know. And then I wanted to get a gallon of 1% milk. They had zero great value or any other brand, 1%. This is the only one they had. And this was cheaper than getting the Fair Life. So this is the route I went. I got the organic great value 1% milk. I'm making that mac and cheese recipe, which calls for a lot of this. And then the boys can use that for cereal. I did get Trace some more of the Light and Fit Protein Strawberry banana yogurt smoothies. These are 10 grams of protein and 80 calories. The Chobani ones are better macros. I showed you at Target, but he loves these. And of, of course he's not counting macros, but this is good for him to take for his snack while he's at summer school. For the mac and cheese, I got some Parmesan cheese. I just get the regular kind. It's 110 calories for a third of a cup. And then I got some laughing cow cheeses because we're running low. I have some, but not enough of the regular light creamy. I love this one for all the things. They're now just 25 calories, but you told me that if you compare them to the 30 calorie ones, they're a little bit smaller. I can't tell much of a difference, so here for it. And then I did get the creamy spicy pepper jack. I think I'm putting that on the jacked up Sammy, so that will be good. I have none of that on hand. Spe I'm telling you guys, there's gonna be a kick to this sandwich, okay? So if you're not a fan of spicy, you're not gonna like this one, but I am. A slice of the pepper jack is gonna go on there, and it's 70 calories and four grams of protein. For this one, I was gonna get the one at Aldi, but it was a little higher macro, so we went the great value route. For the mac and cheese, I think she calls for regular sharp cheddar. It's like a mixture of whatever. So to cut it, the calories down a little bit, but it still tastes like the real deal, I add some of the reduced fat sharp cheddar, which if you're new, it is not much of a difference. It's 90 calories for an ounce versus 110, I believe. And then I got some extra sharp cheddar cheese. I'm not, I know this goes in the mac and cheese, but I don't remember the recipe, but I needed some regular and they had zero of the extra sharp. And that's what I wanted to get with the great value or the craft, but they did have this brand and it was on rollback. It was pretty, it wasn't much more expensive than the great value. So I got the extra sharp cheddar and the white and it's 110 calories for an ounce. 
I did get the boys, mainly Waylon, some hot dogs. I got him these bun length ones because he's been eating the regular ones, just the hot dog, and he leaves like half the hot dog bun, and he doesn't eat the bun, which I'm fine with if he eats the hot dog. That's fine with me. He doesn't have to eat the bun. But I thought this might persuade him to eat the whole thing. I don't know. And these beef ones are way better um, ingredients than the regular ones. Now, y'all know I'm not a fear monger. I had um, some people comment last week with some things that I bought. I don't fear monger products, foods, ingredients anymore. It's just not my thing. We've, we've gotten past that. I've gotten a healthy mindset over the time from the keto days. But if I can make a better option, and these were cheap is what I'm saying. So that's the one I got versus the regular is what I'm trying to say. I did get some yogurts. I can't get these in the pickup. This is a light and fit lemon meringue, 80 calories, 12 grams of protein. Y'all know I like the Chobani Zero Sugar. I picked some up at Target, but I got the plain vanilla, 60 calories, 11 grams of protein, I think. And then we got some new things. So I got those lemon cream ones last week. I like them guys. A lot of y'all have been wearing me out saying like, oh my gosh, well, how are they? Do you like them? They're good, but they have pieces of a lemon in them, like dried lemon peel maybe. I don't know. It's bitter and I don't like that at all. I'm like a big texture person and that's like a no for me. If it wasn't for that, they'd be a 10 out of 10. But I saw these. They had three different varieties, okay? And these are macro friendly. The Itty Bits by Kemp's Cookies and Cream like Dippin' Dots. Okay, so it's kind of like the ones we saw last week. This is a six pack and these are 90 calories for a cup. And what I like about these cups is that they're substantial and it takes a while for you to eat them because it's super freezing cold, you know, with the little Dippin' Dot things. They also had a, a banana split one. It was 80 calories and they had another version. Might have been strawberries and cream. Strawberry shortcake was 90 as well. So so between 80 and 90 calories for a cup, that's not bad. If you're in a calorie deficit, watching everything, but you still want a treat, here you go. A little alternative to our fudge bars from Great Value. Now, Waylon specifically said he wanted pancakes this week, the mini ones, and he said, he was looking at the app with me, and he said, Mom, can we get the Funfetti ones? So we got the Funfetti. I looked at the macros and stuff, and it's not much different than the regular. So that's what we went with, 80 mini pancakes. Um, so that'll last us a good while, but a little variety for breakfast. And I told you guys I was gonna get the True Fru Pina Colada. I can't wait to try these. These are so great with the macros. Four to five pieces is 70 calories, four fat, eight carbs, and one protein. It's pineapple and white chocolate. I mean, come on, that's gonna be delicious. I did get a big old package, y'all haven't seen me haul these in a hot second, of the Great Value Fully Cooked Original Turkey Sausage Patties. We're gonna be making Elise Ellis's breakfast sausage sliders. I made those a million times last year. It's one of my favorite breakfast sliders recipes from her. It is so good. We're gonna have that for dinner one night. I love having breakfast stuff for dinner. So the macros on these have changed, guys. They used to be 80 calories. Now they are 90 and eight grams of protein. So the calories have went up. The protein has went down slightly, and I think the fat might have been adjusted. So if you've been tracking the old version, just know that they're updated. I did get a Chomps um, free range turkey sticks. There was an Ibotta deal that you got a, a free one. So actually it was a money maker because mine was cheaper than what they gave me. So I made like 40 cents on this. And y'all know I love the Chomps brand. I have a bunch on hand, so I didn't need it. But since I was making money on it, why not? It's 60 calories and 10 grams of protein. Love it. I also got 50 cents back each on the laughing cow. I failed to mention you guys, there was a rebate on that. Got the boys a great value rising crust pepperoni pizza. Y'all know when y'all see this, that's because mama's gonna be gone and I'm going to see the boogeyman with my sister tomorrow when I'm filming this and we're gonna go out to eat. So I'm gonna be leaving a little bit early. So that is for mama to make for the boys while I'm gone. I did get a container of the Craft Light Mayo. There was a $2 rebate on Ibotta that I got back making this cheaper than the great value version. So why not? Love this for all recipes is mainly what I use that for. I dig it for the sandwich. Again, it's gonna be spicy, I can't wait. The jalapeno pepper jelly Tabasco. They also had a hot one, okay? So I went, I went with the mild, but it's 45 calories for a tablespoon. I think I have us using a tablespoon. I don't remember what I have plugged in for the recipe, but I've never tried this before, but always wanted to. I'm intrigued. I cannot wait for that recipe for you guys. And then I got another can of the Hormel chili, the turkey with no beans. I mentioned this last week with the macros being fire on this. You don't need a whole cup, guys, when you're making hot dogs or whatever. If you weigh it out by the gram, it is crazy how much you get. And if you did get a cup, though, it's 240 calories and 20 whopping grams of protein, which is nuts for a pre-made like chili in the can instead of making your own. Don't come for me. I like this one a lot. And I just 
made a bowl. Instead of using the hot dog buns, I did chili, those sausages from Thrive Market, cheese, fat-free cheese, and the cottage cheese mixed together. Holy shnikes, y'all. It was so good. And then I follow Tanya, TikTok and Instagram. She's the water talk queen, but she's also got great recipe ideas. And she makes like a pizza in a bowl version with the cottage cheese. I already have that plugged in my tracker. I'm going to try that out as well. I meant to get some ground turkey because I'm going to amp mine up a little bit more than she does. So that's what we got for Walmart with the crazy drama from the big one, like $86, but we got five or $6 back. So not terrible.